hello friends in this video tutorial i am going to show the article uh, video of working with data table reader class data table reader class is a very useful edu.net class that is used to place the records in the forward only and read only format uh, the benefit of data table reader is same as the data reader object that you have found into edu.net uh, basically data table the difference between the data table reader and data reader object is that data reader object is always connected with the database if you want to iterate through all the records of the data table data reader you will have to keep your connection always alive with the database but in case of data table reader you can very well close the database connections and iterate through the records of data table reader now uh, there are uh, several ways of creating the data table uh, reader and uh, I have explained a couple of the ways here. You can see that if you have a data table, you can call create a data reader uh, method of data table. Now that will give you the, the data table uh, reader uh, object. Another way is that if you have a data set, then you can call data set dot created uh, data reader. That will again give you data table reader. Note here that if your data table, sorry, if your data set have more than one uh, table, then it will give you more than one result set into the data table reader. And you can iterate through all the result set of data table reader using reader dot uh, next result method. The way you do with the uh, data reader object in, into edu.net. There are another way uh, uh, by passing the table object into the constructor of data table reader that will again give you data table reader object. If you want to uh, create a multiple results set into the data table reader, you can very well pass the array of uh, tables. That will give you the data table reader object with a multiple result set. Now let us uh, do some practical activity related to the data table reader. So uh, in order to do that, I have created a sample table that has auto ID name, address, phone, city, four fields. And I have uh, placed one gateway here and two label controls as you can see into this particular uh, page. And uh, let me go through the code now. Uh, so I'm just running this application sample page. And uh, you can see that I, 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 it has called a bind my grade method into the page load. And in this particular SQL variable, I have a specified two select statements. Uh, in order to show that if I will have two uh, uh, real sets into the uh, data set, how it will work. So uh, let us move on. I have a get data uh, from database internal method, private method. That will actually get the data from the database and set in, uh, keep into the data set object. You can see here it has filled into the data set object using uh, SQL data adapter uh, object. And then I have I have bound this reader object into the grid view. Now you can see that the first thing is that you, you must have noticed that my connection is already closed despite that my reader object is working because this is not a data reader like SQL data reader. This is a data table reader. So in this way you do not need to keep your database connection alive. And in this data table, sorry, in this data set I have two result set because I have passed two selected statement into this SQL. So first result set is already bound into the get view object. Now if I will try to iterate through the first result set, it will not iterate because uh, it is forward only and read only. So if you want to go back to uh, the previous record of this reader or result set, it will not able to go. So that's why it didn't come into this particular loop. Now let us skip this part and I will because I will come later on. And then if I want to move to the next uh, result set of the reader object, I will have to call next result uh, method of the reader object. And then I'll just return something and then I will iterate through all the uh, all the uh, records of the second uh, uh, result set. So this is what I'm doing. It, it will it will go two times and it will read, uh, list the record. As you can see here the, in the first uh, place I have bounded the uh, grid view with the reader object and in the second way I have tried to iterate through the records that is existing into the uh, second result set. So this is what it, it is here. So I hope uh, you have understood it clearly. If not then please go ahead and read this article in on .netfunda.com and you can very well download the source code. 
now let me uh, move to the next session of retrieving the uh, data from the data table leader you can use uh, these many ways to retrieve the uh, data from data table leader uh, the first way is that you can pass the column name into the reader object and it will give you the, the data of that particular column the second way is that you can pass the index of the uh, uh, index of the column into the data uh, table reader object and it will give you the data the third way is that you can pass the index into the get string method notice that uh, the way i have called get string method in the same way you have many other uh, methods like get byte get bytes get cals cals date time decimal double all the data type that is available into c sub you or sql server you have the corresponding uh, get method into the reader and that you can use to retrieve the data from the uh, from from the reader object so I have passed the index of the column into the get system. And the another way is that you pass you call the get value uh, method and pass the index. But this get value method will give you the object that you will have to again uh, convert into the string format if your uh, data is of a string type. And the very next way is to uh, get the ordinal of the column and then uh, pass that into the get string because my name is of a string type. If my uh, data is of uh, integer type, then I will call reader.get int32 and then I will uh, get the index of the uh, auto id object into uh, auto id field into the get from the get ordinal method. Despite the fact that these uh, four or five ways of retrieving the data from reader object is looking very easy, but th these are not the ideal way and suggested way to get the data from data table reader. So you should always use these things, uh, bec this, this way to retrieve the data from the data table reader object or even the reader object like SQL reader or OEDB reader object because these are considered to be faster and easier and easily maintainable also. Uh, when I say easily maintainable, let me give you some example. Let's say suppose my name uh, column into the database is of, uh, at the first position into the date into the table now uh, for after some time i move to the next to, to the third position as soon as i move to the third position i will have to change the this particular hard coded value here also but if you have used this way of change of retrieving the data you will not have to change it because get ordinal will give you the current current location of the name uh, column from the data table from, from the sql server database now uh, let's move to the article again and see that uh, the performance about this data table leader as i explained you earlier that a data read table leader is similar to data uh, data reader like sql uh, data reader or oledb data reader and because these are only forward only and read only uh, uh, objects so it is much much better than and better and lighter than a data table or data set so uh, next time when you need to um, retrieve the data from the database and just bind to the grid or you have to pass the data from one layer to another layer and you and you are using data table uh, you should use always use data table leader because this is much much lighter than data table or data set I hope this article uh, video uh, was useful and please feel free to uh, write me by responding to this article if you have any question or comment or you can very well respond to this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching and keep watching my next videos. Thank you very much.